pop that guy open. You've got your documentation here in the main room. But they're easy enough to use where uh, this video should hopefully cover all that. All right, these come with an AC adapter, which is pretty handy. Most simulators don't do that. Um, looks like a carrying case. I'm going to set these off to the side as well. Um, all right, pull this guy out. I'm going to find a contact tip. There it is. Air tip is over there. Adapter is in there. The I'm sorry, the adapter battery uh, assembly is in there. So we'll get the regular battery out of here, which has a little note. For the first time until I'm going to shut down, then immediately charge again. Remove battery pack when using it more than one month. All right, nice little maintenance instructions. That's uh, actually pretty handy. I haven't seen that on an ESD simulator before. All right, hold the trigger to start the guy up. And all right, it's pretty similar to the Hayfleonix if you've seen one of those. It's got this nice run stop feature so when I pull the trigger right now I don't zap myself um, which I have done many times. So you gotta push run and then when you pull the trigger you can discharge. Um, I'm gonna set it to positive. We'll go ahead and do 2 kV because I think that's what my scope is set up for right now. Yes. Alright and let's go ahead and ground it and we'll take a look at the waveform real quick. I'm at 20 hertz. Let's see, did that pop anything up on the scope over there? It did. I'll go ahead and tighten in on the, that right there and um, get an idea of the waveform. It looks pretty similar to the EM test waveform actually with this little secondary spike right there. It doesn't oscillate quite like the NSG 435. Uh, everything's pretty close within tolerance, 30 nanoseconds. A little bit lower, supposed to be 4. It's, it's at 3 here. so. All right, um, let's go back here really quick. We can uh, do a quick air voltage run on it. Oh, so I pulled the tip off while the unit was on. It didn't like it, it yelled at me and turned off. So uh, let me go ahead and stick a, the air tip on. Turn this guy back on. And by the way, uh, discharge network is in there for easy removal and replacement. Uh, standard discharge networks for like uh, HBM 100 picofarad 1500 ohms would be available as well. So, all right, that's how I change from contact to air mode. That's air mode, it looks like, and it automatically defaults to single, um, which is the only mode you really need when you're doing air evaluation. For negative 8, we'll go ahead and turn the sky all the way up to 20 kV. And we'll push run and go ahead and stick it in the discharge. Push and hold, it takes a couple seconds to rise up. 20.37, pretty nice. Pop it down to two really quick. Push stop. All right, run. Let's see how accurate we are with them too. 1.99 pretty nice okay the end